Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Docker and Elasticsearch. Our viewer is trying to use the official Docker Elasticsearch container, but is running into some issues. They have a Docker file that seems straightforward, but they're not able to access Elasticsearch from their local machine. Let's break down the question and find out what might be going wrong. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To use the official Docker Elasticsearch container, let's first examine your Docker file. The base image you are using is correct, but the command run Elasticsearch is not appropriate here. The run command is executed during the build phase of the Docker image, not when the container is running. Instead, you should use the command instruction to start Elasticsearch when the container runs. Next, you mentioned exposing port 80. However, Elasticsearch typically runs on port 9200 for HTTP requests. You should expose this port instead. Now, let's summarize the corrected Docker file. It should look like this. Start with the base image, use command to run Elasticsearch, and expose port 9200. Finally, to access Elasticsearch from your local machine, you should use the following URL, h slash slash localhost 9200. This will allow you to interact with the Elasticsearch service running in your Docker container. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your Elasticsearch container is auto-exiting, it may be due to insufficient virtual memory. The minimum required is 262144, but you might find it set to around 65530. To fix this, increase your virtual memory count using the command sysctlvm.maxmapcount equals 262144. After that, run your container again. Once the container is running, you can access Elasticsearch at port 9200 or 9300. For more details, check the official Elasticsearch documentation on virtual memory settings. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use the official Docker Elasticsearch container, Start by checking the official Elasticsearch documentation. It provides a great guide on setting up a single node Elasticsearch cluster. For more advanced setups, you can also find instructions on running a multi-node Elasticsearch cluster using Docker Compose. Remember to refer to version-specific documentation, which you can find in the version dropdown on the Elasticsearch site. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, 
I hope you have a good one. Cheers.